We're tracking new developments in the Mueller investigation just days after they indicted 13 Russian nationals for interfering in our presidential election. L.A. Times reports former Trump campaign aide Rick Gates will, quote, plead guilty to fraud-related charges within days and has made clear to prosecutors he would testify against Paul Manafort, the lawyer-lobbyist who once managed the campaign. This, according to people familiar with the case, Gates is Manafort's uh, former longtime business partner in the political consulting field. Both pleaded not guilty back in October to a number of charges, including money laundering that are unrelated to the Trump campaign and are not directly connected with Russian meddling or alleged collusion. The L.A. Times also reporting Gates' testimony said a person familiar with the pending guilty plea would place a cherry on top of the government's already formidable case against Manafort. The same individual said he did not believe Gates has information to offer Mueller's team that would turn the screws on Trump. The president has repeatedly called the special counsel's investigation a witch hunt. Here with us to talk about it tonight, Brian Bennett, White House reporter for the L.A. Times, and Jack Sharman, former special counsel for the House Banking Committee, these days financial services. During the Whitewater investigation, he is now a criminal defense attorney. Jack, I'd like to begin with you. Um, Rick Gates' guilty plea, what does that say to you and what will you want to know from it? Well, it says that uh, obviously he is going to testify against Mr. Manafort if necessary. Um, that is a, a, a tool to put pressure on his co-defendant uh, to work out his own deal. Um, the indictment and presumably whatever he ends up pleading to uh, are uh, separate from any uh, campaign-related uh, issues or Russian interference issues. But they could conceivably, if they led Mr. Manafort to uh, uh, want to resolve his own case, that could lead to uh, further revelations in that regard. And Brian, I can't remember the exact wording uh, from the podium and from the president. When uh, Manafort started getting so much attention, uh, Trump said, you know, he, he was here for a very short period of time. Uh, remind us the Manafort-Gates relationship and what these two gentlemen may have to offer Mr. Mueller. So Paul Manafort was uh, Donald Trump's campaign manager from June 2016 to August 2016, which is a critical time because that was when the Republican National Convention happened. And uh, Rick Gates was a longtime associate and partner, business partner with Paul Manafort, uh, particularly when, when Manafort was working as a, as a alleged paid lobbyist for uh, Putin-linked interests in the Ukraine. And uh, both Rick Gates and Paul Manafort have been charged with n not registering as a foreign agent and also with money laundering charges. And what we have that's going on here is uh, Mueller is at the stage of where he's trying to squeeze the little fish to get to the big fish. So he is uh, putting pressure on Gates, um, trying to flip him, trying to get him to enter a guilty plea so that he'll um, give out more information about his longtime business partner, uh, Manafort. And uh, it may not be information that Gates particularly knows about Manafort's connections to the Russians, but um, if he can put more pressure on Manafort and then get Manafort to uh, be in an uncomfortable position, um, try to get a, a guilty plea out of Manafort and try to get Manafort to describe more about what he knows about uh, any connections between uh, Russia and Russian officials and the Trump campaign during those those critical months in the summer of 2016. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.